Hello, it's Subway Pont Free. Can I take your order, please? Speaking to me now, Barry Boxer, Jason Sillett. Uh, Jason, some people might recognise your name, might recognise your face. You were boxed last in 2017, I believe. 2017. Yeah, 2017 was my last fight. So uh, that was three, four years ago. Um, you're back here training today with uh, Richie and Jason. Um, what's brought you back to boxing? Um, I just felt hungry to fight again. I felt like I turned too young. He's very young, and obviously when I first started, I was 18 years old. So I boxed 18 to 20, um, had a few years out. I feel like I got a bit stronger, a bit older, mature. Obviously my weight's gone up a bit as well, but I've been back in the gym with Richie now for a few months, feeling strong. I'm um, starting to get back in shape and I'm finding my way. Yeah, I feel good. So you had seven fights in your, your pro career to date. Uh, five wins, two losses? Yeah, five wins, two losses. So taking that experience you, you've had already, um, what, what can we expect from you when, you when you finally get a fight again? Well, like anyone, I've been out for a long time, so I've got to work my way back up. So I'm going to take a fight at a time, see how I progress every time, and then we'll take it from there. It's pretty simple, really, isn't it, with that? Like, it's been a long time out. I can't be expected to go and just straight back in, mix it with, like, the, the very best. So I'll just stand my way up, win my way up, see how far I go. Did you get a little bit disillusioned with boxing in the past? We weren't disillusioned. I think I turned too young. I, I, was, I was eager to be a professional. Obviously, you're dealing with men, in you? I weren't a mature 18 either. I weren't a mature 20. I only feel like I've started maturing right now. So, I feel good now. So. Yeah, that seems to be something that happens quite often. Amateurs just turn over a little bit too quickly. They get eager. They get eager. Don't get me wrong. Some people, they mature quickly, don't they? And then they turn over and they, they're ready. But in my case, I wasn't. So, what, what, what's the plan for you in your, your pro career now? Obviously, you, you, you're here training with Richie. Um, you had a, a good session this morning. It's been quite tough, quite brutal. Yeah, very hard. Um, I didn't enjoy them hills at all. <laughs> They're very sickening. Um, but just get straight back out as soon as I can. I'm training hard. Alex, I've been training hard for a long time with Richie. I feel in shape, so just keep pushing now. And I'm eager to get back in there as soon as possible. And then I'll just, like I said, win fight at a time. I'll go from there and see what it brings. Was there one single thing or a number of things that made you step back into the boxing gym and looking at boxing again? I always missed it on and off, but you know, it's like, when, when do you miss it? I've tried to come back a few times, but then I felt like I weren't ready again. I've done it again, I felt like I weren't ready. So this time I've had to go, but I've stayed in the gym. I've been happy with what I'm doing with Richie, and it's kept my hunger going. So I've done it, I've been sparring, and I just feel ready to go. I'm happy, I'm in a happy place. And so who have you been sparring in preparation for your ring return? Um, obviously the boys which were here today, so I've just met them all. Um, I spied Craig Woodruff, a um, few of the amateur boys he's brought down. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been good. What was it like sparring Craig Woodruff? Got a, a good, tough season pro? Oh, very good. You learn a lot from it. And he, he does little things, do you know what I mean? He does them little things which um, an experienced pro does. So you pick up a lot of sparring and you know not to get sent to certain traps then when it comes to fighting other people. What do you think is going to be the most difficult thing about returning to boxing after a, a four-year break like you've had? Um, I don't think it's going to be difficult because, you know, I mean, I've fought a lot of time anyway for amateur as well, but I know what it brings. So, I mean, obviously, he's getting your timing back, which I'm trying to do in the gym right now, but it's nothing like a first fight. So, like I said, I have my first fight and then go from there, take what I can from it, see what it brings. And uh, what, what weight division are you going to be boxing at when you, when you finally uh, fight the titles? I'm going to start well to weight and work from there is in the past. I felt like I was, when I was making lightweight and I went down to super heavy all the time, it was, I was making the weight but I was holding it. I was trying to hold it year round and like, by the time I get in the fight, I didn't feel strong. But, so I've trained hard, I feel fit weeks before when I'm a certain weight. I go back and then like, when I'm fighting, well, my arms are shot. So this time I'll feel a bit heavier and I feel stronger, I feel more comfortable in the ring, I'll be happier as well. And a happy fighter is a better fighter. So. Are there any fighters around your weight division within Wales or you know, the rest of the UK that you're targeting or in the back of your head you're looking at fighting further down the line? Like I said, it's still early days. Like, like I said, it's a full year break. I've been out for a long time. I'm going to work my way back into it. If I get a few wins on my belt, then I'll look forward. Do you know what I mean? And that's the way it is, isn't it, really? Otherwise, I'm just over my head thinking, so I can't out names because I've got to work my way back up and I've got to prove myself and I've got to prove something to myself as well coming back. Any fans watching this interview, uh, how, how can they follow your career and watch your progress? So I don't use Twitter, I don't like Twitter, too much talking on it. Um, just at Jason Siller on Instagram, and obviously that's it, that's the social media, no, Jason Siller on Facebook. 
and they supported, of course, for guys that you were level to sell tickets, so we support your fans, get behind you now and, and get tickets off you when, when you get a date. Definitely. And luckily, my dad owns a gym, so I, it's a good, it's a good um, way to sell tickets there. Obviously, I know everyone in the gym, and obviously, it's a good way to promote myself throughout the gym and then from further from there. And uh, what's, what's our gentleman like behind you, Richie Gardner, as, as a trainer and manager? Oh, he's very good, very switched on. And like I said, as soon as I trained with him, I jailed with him straight away. I'm happy where we're at. I mean, I have put my trust in him, I'm happy, hopefully he's happy with me and we'll go from there and see where it goes. And there seemed like a really good atmosphere as well amongst yourself and the, the rest of the boxers here this morning, a good, a good vibe, a good bit of yeah, banter. Yeah, it's, it's my first time meeting a lot of them and they all a good laugh, so it's it a good, better environment to train in as well, so everyone's pushing everyone and it makes you happy, don't it? And that makes training 100 times easier, even though it's hard still, and then meals are hard. It didn't look easy this morning. I don't think anything could have made that look easy. And it's not nice getting up six a.m. to then go straight to the hills, is it? Either they woke me up, so we go on, and I'm happy now. Session's done, and get on with my day. Is that your hardest session you've had since you've come back to boxing? One of them, yeah. But Richie pushes me all the time in the gym. He always comes to prefer few other torture exercises and everything. So yeah, thanks for that, Rich. <laughs> Okay, uh, cheers mate, it's good to speak to you today and uh, good luck with the career and uh, hopefully see you in a boxing ring soon. Hello, it's Subway Pontepris. Can I take your order please? 